know who you are, but Here. give me your name and your school sure. affiliation, please. Rick Bird, Belmont University. Okay. And uh, you'll look at Jenny. She'll ask questions. Okay. You can, you know, rephrase her question in your answer. Okay. That would be helpful. Okay. All right. I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Well, this season is a different one for us. We have uh, we've lost our three top scores from a year ago. Uh, but if you're recruiting consistently, and most all of our guys are high school players coming in, then you've then, then hopefully you've got guys that come in and take their place. And we we do have an experienced team. It's just that uh, J.J. Mann and Blake Jenkins and Reese Chamberlain are going to have to be the Karan Johnson and Ian Clark's of uh, of our team if we're going to be as good as we'd like to be. What do you like most about your team this year? I like our players. I like uh, I like our players. It's probably my favorite part about this team. I like the the quality of people they are. I like the unselfishness about our team. I like how much they like each other, and and I like how hard they practice. I think they I think they have purpose, uh, in in pretty much everything they do. And so, liking your players makes your job a lot easier. What is the biggest challenge? I think the toughest thing for our team, or maybe the weakest point of our team, may be uh, our interior defense and our rebounding. We don't have the kind of strength. Got some size in there, but we're just uh, we, we've got. To, it seems to me that we need to work on that area more than anything else. But we, I think our depth is good. I think our um, I think our perimeter defensive game is good. Uh, just got to keep teaching better, and uh, wish we could make a couple of guys stronger. What do you think about the OVC overall this year? You know, it's always hard to know. I mean, it's pretty easy to look at Eastern Kentucky's experience and talent coming back, and they're a unanimous pick, it, it seems, um, to be the best team. But, you know, none of us really know uh, what the players are like for other teams. We don't, we don't, some had transfers sitting out that we don't know anything about. We had a transfer sitting out. Uh, some recruited junior college players. We don't really recruit junior college, so we wouldn't have seen those guys. Don't know how good they are. Uh, you know, this league has consistently replaced programs like Murray State, in particular, have consistently replaced great players with great players. And so uh, it's better for me to guess that people are going to be really good. How has the recent success the OVC has had in the NCAA tournament both pushed your program and made the conference better? Well, I'm pretty disappointed because we're the ones that let them down last year since we didn't win the game in the NCAA tournament. Uh, that's a, uh, that, but the success that the OVC has had is, is helpful in so many ways to all of us. Uh, you know, it's something we can talk about in recruiting. It's something our players can understand that if we do get to the tournament, that um, if we can win the OVC, we can win games in the tournament. And maybe it didn't happen last year, but I think that but the fact the OVC has been so successful should help all of our teams have confidence. What will it take for your team to cut down the nets again in Nashville in March? Oh, it, it's 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 always hard to know what what's going to make your team good at the right time. Uh, I think we have the kind of players and the kind of program where we have to uh, minimize mistakes. We're not always going to be the quickest, fastest, biggest team on the floor. We've got to play smart. We've got to play together. We've got to like each other. We've got to be unselfish. Uh, I think if we're the kind of team that we've been for the past eight or ten years on a consistent basis, it gives us a shot. The OVC has four current players in the NBA. What can that exposure mean to all the schools in the league? Well, I don't know that any of us recruit anybody that wouldn't like to play in the NBA. And when you can prove that you've had a player in your program, when you can show them that you've had a player in your program or, or folks in the league that have gone to the NBA and made teams and succeeded, then it helps you in recruiting. It creates more excitement around your program. Uh, it, it's all positive. And, of course, really the most important thing is we all feel good for those kids that they've, they've uh, achieved a dream. Thanks.